Hey everybody, it's Jordan with PDQ and we're back uh, with a getting started guide. This one is step 18. This is the final step. After you watch this one, you're going to have everything you need to, to dive in and, and make it your own. This is, uh, I guess, a good way to get entry, but make sure you go in and you do some complex stuff, do some cool stuff uh, once, you've, once you're through this one. This one we're covering uh, the scanner itself. We had the default scanners we covered earlier, but what if you want to make your own scanner? Uh, first thing, you go to scan profiles and hit new. I'm going to name this one demo because of my I'm original. And the next part is the scan as. This is the permission that's going to be how you're getting the device, uh, the information out of the machine. So scan user is whatever your credentials you're using with an inventory is. That is most likely by nature going to have to be some sort of administrative rights. It's going to have a lot of authority. It's going to, I'm going to say 95% of the time, that's going to be the one that does what you're looking for. Uh, local system is just it, with the, Rights that it has, it's going to go in and impersonate the local system, which lets you to pull a little bit of information. I'll be honest, that one's I've rarely used on my own scanners, but it is there if it's something specific you need to grab. And the last one is logged on user. Logged on user is perfect for uh, something like, we'll say, Apex packages or anything that's specific to the context of whoever is logged on. Let's say this user has installed Chrome or they may have installed Chrome, in which case it installs in their app folder instead of the global one. You can have a scan that looks in that specific folder based on the logon user and I'll find that one. But overall, 95% of the time, scan user is going to get everything you need. The next one is triggers. This is if you want the scan to run on a schedule. This is where you set it up, uh, you know, weekly or every Monday. If once the scan is a certain age or Every time a machine comes online, you need to make sure some file exists. That would be a heartbeat. But just if you need to run this within a certain schedule, you have everything you need there to kind of build it out to get everything you want. Uh, the last one is collections. Uh, this is if this scanner is for specific machines. Let's say you have a group of users that have very specific requirements that need to be uh, like locked in. You could have it every time this scanner runs. It runs against those machines to make sure that nothing is outside of of the accepted parameters. Uh, outside of that, we're going to go into what the scanners there are. There's a lot of these, so this is going to be kind of info dump. You ready? Active Directory. This is going to let you scan all the Active Directory information that you might need from the system. That one doesn't have a lot of customization. That's just a quick and dirty one. Uh, next one is Applications. This one is the same thing. It's going to go out and scan the applications that are installed on that machine. After that, computer details, and a lot of these, they're pre-built. These are what go into the custom scanners, but if you want to add or remove components, this is where you do that one. Computer details gives you a whole bunch of information for regular inventory. That's just going to be part of your default scanner. Uh, disks displays each one of those. Environment variables, this is a good way to find out if they have any non-standard uh, environment variables. Uh, I know I've done that with PowerShell quite a bit. It just makes it easier for me. So if there's certain variables you're looking for, that's where you'd scan that one. Uh, the next one, and this one is kind of the, one of the ones you'll be using more often for a scanner, and it is the file scanner. Uh, this is, you need to make sure a certain file does or does not exist, or there's a directory. Just something within there with some file structure that you need to find, file or, and you can also file or directory, or both. If there's something specific you need to make sure is there, whether an application has a prerequisite or something that the install you've done, if it was done successfully, then the file should be in a certain location. This is where you build a scanner. You say, does this file exist? This one can become a massive scanner uh, if you go too broad. If you just do C star star and scan all directories, that's going to be a long scanner. So the more precise you are with this one, the more uh, the faster it's going to come back for that information. But that is a fantastic way to find out uh, if, if a, a specific file you need or do not do not want is the way it should be. Um, outside of that one, we have some more like hardware devices, hot fixes. These are ones where there's not a lot of customization. Uh, same with printers. Uh, PowerShell is the next one where there's a lot of customization. Anything that you can do with PowerShell, you can scan here. Any information you want. I've used this to do sort of a time series database where my scanner go out and grab a whole bunch of information about that system with PowerShell return it as a table, and I could kind of keep track of the how the system has performed over time. That's an extreme example. That one was complex. But anything you do with PowerShell, the PowerShell scanner can do that, and it will run on the system, so it's not like a, a remote run. 
All right, and then the next one we wanted to highlight is registry. I know we don't want to mess around with registry a lot, not there, but there is times you need to make sure that you do or do not have, just like the files, registry uh, that's very specific. So you look up type, we have some of the wildcards and how you can find it. You can choose the hive you're starting from. Uh, so each one of those, it's, I, I, I know I'm, I'm with you, I'm wary about messing with it, but this is not going to change anything registry. It's just going to tell you if the registry entry you're looking for does exist. That one, especially if you have some things that are messing in a way you don't want them to, that one can be extremely valuable. And the last one, and I'm going to say this one's probably a little bit deprecated because I think PowerShell does everything this one could do and more, but that's the WMI. And this is the Windows Management Instrumentation. There's a ton of information. If you know your WMI, yeah, we actually have the WMI Explorer built into that one where you can go through and you can find something specific. You can do some good stuff with this. I would still use PowerShell over this, but if you're not comfortable with PowerShell, but you know your WMI, I mean, have at it. That one will help you dive in, get everything you look for. Uh, so you can see there is, there is a lot. There's a scanner for every scenario you want, and you can customize, you can build, you can get custom scanners to make sure that you always have a table with all the information you want. And every time if you run the scanner, if you wonder where the data goes, we'll just uh, come up into Deadpool. Eventually, there we go. And there is going to be, like if you do a PowerShell scanner, the results are going to come in here where you scanned that one. So wherever you do that scan, whether it's finding anything, is just going to put it in a nice little table in that machine's context for you. So that's one, that's a very brief breakdown, but that is an extremely powerful tool. If you need something very specific or something no one else has thought of, of why you need this one, you can build your own. You can have all the information, specifically what you need for your environment. That one's probably the most customizable option you have. I love it. I'd recommend diving into that one. Uh, and that's it. That's everything you need to know about the PDQ products, at least for getting started. There's a lot more if you dive in and do some awesome things with that one. For PDQ, I'm Jordan.